Hi, it's Sherry Carroll with a quick tip for SimonSaysStamps.com. I wanted to show you some of my re-inking tips that I have, and I'm going to start off with my specialty inks. These are special because they have a little bit different formula in the re-inkers, and so I'm starting off with my white stays on, and here I'm showing that it has that little top lid that you should keep with your pad at all times. I do like to shake up this ink and it is a bit thicker than a pigment ink but how I do it is I just spread it around in a little circle or a little oblong type shape and then I keep handy some hotel cards and old credit cards or Starbucks cards oh there's my Kohl's card and uh, especially the hotel keys are really really great to work with these so I've picked out my hotel key and I'm going to spread this ink around and I'm also, while I'm spreading, I'm pushing it into that sponge applicator. This is about the best way that you can re-ink this. Um, you don't have to put this much on and I suggest when you're using the white stays on to re-ink it before you use it uh, every time. Uh, I don't use mine weekly, so I end up re-inking it just before I use it, just to make sure that it has enough ink on there. So once you have that all spread in and pushed into that foam, you're ready to go. So next I have the Versamark, and this is really thick, and I do like to shake these up. So I'll start to squeeze this out, and I'm almost at the bottom of my re-inker, and it kind of takes two fingers. Uh, my hands are in the way right now, but I'll show you that I'm just adding little drops of this and like I said, it's really, really thick. Almost like a glue, but maybe a little thicker and it's also very clear. So I'm just kind of adding dots all around the pad. And again, I'll be grabbing one of my hotel keys. And you could use a splodger or just any type of um, hard plastic type thing, even a knife or something that wouldn't have a serrated edge. So again, I just press that into the sponge and I'm going to add a little bit more. And the reason why I can tell is because it really soaked it up fast. So I know that there's not a lot of ink in there. And you'd be quite amazed at how quickly you can run out of ink. And so by re-inking them, you'll see how fresh your ink pads will become once again and you'll get true color. And for this one, since it is clear, um, it will really ink up my stamps quickly. It saves you time just by adding a little bit of reinker. So now that's all in there and ready to go for the next time I want to use that. So next I want to show you dye ink pads and these have a linen type or felt type pad and I'll show you that. It's a raised pad. And this is a little bit different. You don't have to push the ink into the felt tip. So what I'm going to do is just start kind of drawing on here and you can see the ink just soak right into that felt or linen type pad. And I go in different directions. I want to make sure that I get the entire surface done. So I'll go back over several times. And especially with my black ink pads, I like to have them good and juicy so that uh, I get a really crisp image and I don't have to really ink my stamps up so heavily. So just a couple runs over that with the re-inker and you're ready to go. You can also use the re-inkers for the shadow inks and the mid-tone inks. And it's the same process as the regular dye ink. So I'll run this back and forth. And I'll go crossways, make sure I get all the edges. Sometimes I go in circular motions. So it's really quick just to re-ink and you can just take maybe about a half an hour, re-ink all your ink pads, um, about maybe once a month or so, depending on how heavily you use them. So that's it, that's a really quick way to re-ink your ink pad. So now these are all ready to go for my next project. I also want to talk to you about re-inking the Distress Inks. They have a little bit different type of re-inker and it's like an eyedropper bottle. So you're just going to, I like to shake everything up. I don't think this ink really needs it. So you're going to just squeeze that applicator tip and suck it into the bottle. And again, just run the ink over the ink pad. This soaks in a little bit slower. It's a little bit thicker ink, I think, than uh, the Memories dye inks. So 
This is my quick tip for the week and I hope you've enjoyed my video so please visit www.simonsaysstamps.com. Thanks for watching.